Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're happy to show you how to use Trello boards. Now boards on Trello help us to keep our workflow and organize things a little bit nicer. So we're going to be thinking about a scenario or two to help you see how you can use Trello boards to increase your productivity. So right here we have our workspace and we're currently seeing a number of boards. And behind the board, you can see a nice background. If you don't want this background or if it's conflicting with the boards, of course, the boards have a nice contrast in color black. You can go over the three dots here at the top area, click on it, and then you can see change background. Click on it. And here you have the option to use photos or colors. If we click on colors, we have some nice gradients right here. So we're going to go ahead and choose this one. And just like that, you now have a new background. Of course, if you want to use an image, that's fine. You could go ahead and use that one, but we just want to show you some functionalities. Now this is board view and you can see the name here. It's currently just a dot there and we're going to give it a name. We're going to give it team A and this is the board belonging to team A. Of course, you can see on the left side here, your boards on the, this workspace. And because we want to show you how to use boards, we're going to be focusing just mainly on the board. Now, one thing you could do with this board is to make it your favorite. Now, if you click on the star, it's going to be at the top of your boards. Now, when you click on it, you can see right here, it's currently second because there is the first one with the star. If you want to take this one off, you can make that happen. And now, Team A is currently number one as we want it to be. So say you have a board where you're working on a production of videos. So maybe social media content or whatnot. So we're going to be using that scenario and we're going to give this boards different names. And so we're going to give this first card topics. And then the second card, we're going to say recording now. And then the third, we're going to say thumbnails. Then we're going to say under review. So far, what we're doing is we're just creating a workflow using this board and using cards within the board. Now, this board helps us to have different cards. And the first card is for topics. Second is for recording now. And the third for thumbnails and on the review. So basically, if there are topics, you can move them to recording now. And then after recording this video, you're going to take it over to thumbnails for the thumbnail designer. And from there, you can take it to review for the editor. So let's give this a real demo and we're going to give this card some topics. So we have the first one, how to use Trello and the second one, and then just one more topic. So this is really all about Trello at this point, how to use Trello, how to subscribe to Trello and how to add integrations. Now what's going to happen here is we're going to click on this card and right here, you could put a description that best describes what you want for this first topic. Then you could also add members, decide to join it or add labels. So we've just said make a video on how to use Trello. So we're going to say save, and this will now be in the description for your other colleagues to see and know what to do with it. And then we're going to click on labels, and here you have different colors for labels. Now these different colors can be used as color coded signs in order to know where the project is. So for example, if there is an issue with this project, you can click on red. And then when we click away, we're going to see this on red and this might signify a problem. However, you can make it better by clicking on the card and then clicking on labels. And then you're going to name this. So we're going to say red is if we're having issues. And then we're going to say save. And now we have the red as issues, right? So we're going to create a new label and then we're going to give this this color and say in progress. So you can see this adds another label here, but in order to change that, because we're having issues, we don't want to have it in progress. We want to sort out an issue. All you need to do is to click on the color and it's going to take it away. Once again, click on it and it's going to bring it back. So that's how you can add labels or remove labels from your card. However, we're going to go over to labels right now. We have in progress issues and we can close this up. And so if this is having issues and this is not, your members can actually take this to recording now. And that's how you can move from your topics to recording now. Then you can click on it. Of course, we've shown you how to add a description to your card within the board. Then you could also have a cover, but we're going to be discussing on covers later. We want to show you dates. So when you click on dates, you can set a deadline for this. So for example, if we go uh, two days before, click on save, 
you can see that it's overdue. And that's a great feature because this helps you and others who are working in the same team to know which topics have priorities. So we're going to click on dates again, and then we're going to put it forward, save, and now it says due soon. Now, how about we take it to a week after, click on save, it's just going to be the date because we have enough time. So we're going to leave it at that. And then of course, if there are other attachments to help with this topic, you can click on attachment. And then here you could paste in a link or put a display text, which is optional. Then of course you have the option to attach a file by choosing file right here. And it's going to take you to your file explorer and you can add any file you'd like to attach. And so when we click away, you can see April 10th, and this is a day in the future for us to do this. And you can see how to subscribe to Trello, and it's currently in recording. Now, when you're done with recording, you can click on mark as complete, and this will show as complete. When the next one is added, you can also mark as complete. Now, say you're done with recording and you want the thumbnail designer to take over by adding a thumbnail. You can move this over to thumbnails and the thumbnail artist will need to add a cover. So here is where covers are important. You can click on cover and say you've designed a nice thumbnail. We're going to choose this and then we're going to click away. And now this has a thumbnail, right? That's really nice. And this really differentiates from the recording aspect to thumbnails. Of course, you can do the same to what's recording now. But say we're done with the thumbnail and it's approved. You can take this over to under review from whomever is going to be reviewing this project and they're going to review it. And here we have the need to add another card to our board. And what will that card be? I'm going to click on add another list and we're going to say upload it. And so when this is past the stage of review and it's approved, you can move it to uploaded. And this shows that this is done. However, over time, you will be having a long list of uploaded files, and that's fine if you want it that way. Now, there are a few more things you could do with boards. You could click on this icon right here to change visibility. It's currently under workspace, but you can make it private or you can make it public. Now, other things you could do is to go ahead and click on share if you want to add other members to your board for them to work with you. So you can come over to board members or if you have requests, this is where you can actually approve requests. There is the option to share this bot with link. You can click on create link and you can see the link has been copied to the clipboard. Now, of course, this is the email address or the name of the person you'd like to add and also give this person the rights they need for the work. You can click on the drop down here and you can see member or observer. So you can leave it at member and click on share. And this will send an email to that person, inviting them to your Trello workspace where they will find themselves on the board if they accept the invite. Now you will notice also that at the top right corner of every card in this board, there are three dots there. When we click on them, you can see some options or a list of actions. You have the option to add a card, copy list, move list, move all cards in this list, watch, and then you have some automation options right here. For example, when a card is added to the list, you can do something. So we're going to give you an example of what you can do with automation. Now, when you click on this option, when a card is added to this list, you can decide what you want to happen. So we're going to do this example under thumbnails, click on the three dots here and say when a card is added to this list, click on it. And then it says when card and list, when a card is added to this list, and this list, of course, is thumbnails. You're going to add an action. Click on add action. And then you can say add a label or remove or mark card or set a due date. Now, in some cases, when topics are added or cards are added to this list, you might want something to happen. So you can say set the due date or start date. So we're going to click on it and say set due date to three working days, right? You could leave it as that and then add new rule. Now here's what's going to happen after this rule has been added. So of course you can say view my rule and here you can see enabled on board last modified few seconds ago. And then here it says when a card is added into the list thumbnails, set the due date to three working days later, right? So of course you have enable automation on the board and then you have disable automation on board. So we can close this because we've seen the rule and we're going to add this card to thumbnails. Now notice what's going to happen. Before we do that, we're going to click on this, how to add integrations on Trello. There is no date here. And so we're going to close this, move it over to thumbnails. 
And after a few seconds, we should see a due date added to this one. Great, so you can see April 8, and then this is because we've added an automation to help make things easier. This helps the thumbnail designer to know that they have about three days before they need to actually move thumbnails over to review. And this helps the workflow and helps others in your team. So we hope at this point you now know what to do and how to use Trello boards for increased efficiency and productivity with your team. We also hope we made this easy for you. And if you did find this helpful, go ahead and use Trello boards for your productivity. And thanks for watching.